Welcome back to another episode on deep learning series and in this episode I'll be showing you how to install and use a face wrap on an Ubuntu operating system. Let's start the process by downloading Anaconda for Linux installer and we'll be needing the Python version 3.7 and let me download that first. Now that the downloads completed, let me go open terminal in the downloads folder and use the following commands to start the installation process. The installation is completed, let us continue the process by opening uh, Anaconda Navigator. And once that's opened, we need to create an environment for us to work in. Click on the environments available on the left side panel and then you'll be having an option to create new environment. Let's name the environment as deepfakes. Select python version 3.6 and then create it. This will create the environment for us to work on and once that's created we'll continue the process. Now that the environment is created let us open it. I'll be using the base directory as documents folder and I'm changing the directory to the documents folder now. And once that's done, I'll be cloning the facewap repo. For that, I'll be putting the link in the description below. You just need to copy it and paste it in the terminal, and that will start cloning the repo. Now that the cloning is completed, we need to change the directory to the facewap folder and then use the following command to start the installation process. During the installation process, you'll be prompted with different options and you need to answer according to your setup. If you're using AMD, you need to click yes during that option. As I'm using a GTX, Enable NVIDIA card. I'll type yes for the CUDA support. Let's continue the process by opening the FaceWrap application using the following command. This is an open source application which has all the tools required to complete the whole process. And let's start the process now. Let's start by creating the workspace directory. This directory will be holding all the files which you'll be working on. So these are the two videos I'll be using for this demonstration. And yeah, there's a second video. I'll also create the respective folders in which we'll be saving the extracted frames and the faces. First, we'll need to extract faces from the videos. For that, I'll be using the extract option and select data underscore destination mp4 and its folder respectively as the output directory and start the process. This process will extract all the faces from the videos and we'll be using these faces to train the model. Similar to the first process, I will be extracting the faces from the second video too. Now that the faces from the videos are extracted, we need to work on them to clean the dataset. And it requires a little more time to actually go through all the faces and delete all the images which aren't proper. To help us clean the faces, we can use a sort tool provided. We can use different sorting options to sort the faces and then delete the faces which are not clear enough and have something obstructing the faces. The better the data set is, we can get a higher quality model and which finally gives us a better final video. Sorting algorithms help us clean the data set faster and once the sorting is done, you need to go through the image as I told you earlier and then delete the images which aren't clear enough.
We need to repeat the process of cleaning the faces on the second dataset too. Next, we need to train the model. We'll start by creating the model directory in the workspace folder. In order to train the model, select the location of the faces and the respective alignments.json file. Similarly, let's set the location of the model folder which we created earlier. For the sake of this demo, I'll be using DFL-H128 algorithm to train the model. I have used an NVIDIA GTX 1070 graphics card to train the model. It took me around 11 hours to get the whole process done. The amount of time it takes to train the model depends directly on the power of your graphic card. So it might help you if you're having a powerful graphic card or else you just need to wait a little more longer to get the model trained. The model is properly trained, you can clearly see the similarities between the, both the inputs and their expressions in the preview window. You can stop the training process once you achieve a loss value which is less than 0.02. the model strain let's start with the process of completing the final video use the convert tab to create the final video in that you need to be selecting the video which you need to convert and then the other details such as the output directory and the alignments or json file along with these folders you need to select the model directory where you saved the train model and start the conversion process by clicking on the convert option This process will extract the frames from the video and generate the swapped frames in the output folder and later on we'll use these frames to convert them to the final video. You can check the swapped frames in the output directory and see how it turned out. That the swap frames are generated, we'll use the FFmpeg tool to switch them together to the final video. Select swap frames output folder as the input directory and set the output video name and its extension as the output. You also need to set the original video as the reference video. Click on FFmpeg to start the process. This will stitch the frames and copy the audio from the reference video and generate the final video. Now that the final video is created, let's go into the workspace directory and find the final video. Let me show you the video. The whole process that we did till now is A to B conversion. We can use the same model to generate the B to A model conversion. For that, the only thing we need to do is select the swap model option available in the process. Let's go check that now. To select the swap model option, you need to scroll down. You can find the option over there. Just check that and start the process. This is similar to what we have done previously. Let me show that again.
is the final video which you get from B2A conversion and yeah let's go check it now comes to the end of this video if you like this video do give a thumbs up and if you have any doubts in the whole process you can ask them in the comment section below and do consider subscribing as i'll be updating my whole series with new deep learning models and everything and thank you so much for watching this video this is vamsi from tech fortress goodbye